This video is brought to you by myvayteaching.com. Let's talk about digestion. As you all know that our food consists of substances like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, and in small amounts vitamins and minerals now all these are large insoluble particles that means these cannot pass through the walls of our intestine and get absorbed as such so before the food can be used by us for various functions like for getting energy, growth and repair, we need to break down these substances that we have taken in into smaller and water soluble substances and then they can be absorbed by our body. Hence we define the process in which the food containing large insoluble substances is broken down into small water soluble substances which can be absorbed by our body is called digestion. We use both physical and chemical methods for digestion. Here the physical methods include chewing of the food and grinding of the food. While the chemical methods include the various addition of the various digestive juices by the organism's digestive system. Clearly, the process of digestion takes place inside our body. Now before we describe the human digestive system in detail, we should know the meaning of elementary canal. So let us describe elementary canal now. Elementary canal is also known as gut or the digestive tract. A long tube running from the mouth to the anus of a human being or any other animal in which digestion and absorption of food takes place is called elementary canal. The food moves forward in the elementary canal by the process of peristalsis. Peristalsis is the wave like movement caused by the alternate contractions and relaxation of the muscles of the elementary canal. This pushes the food forward in the elementary canal. So in simple words, elementary canal is nothing but a continuous canal which has many parts such as mouth, food pipe, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus. Three glands are also associated with elementary canal. These are, let's write here, salivary glands. Those are in the mouth, we know, salivary glands. Then we have liver and the pancreas. The food enters the elementary canal at the mouth. As the food travels through the various parts of the elementary canal, it gradually gets digested. Let us look at the picture. Here clearly the mouth and the anus are connected 
by a system which will include our mouth then this is our oesophagus we can see here then we have the stomach area and the two intestines and finally the anus so this whole system together forms the alimentary canal it also includes the salivary glands that we have in our mouth or the throat then we have the pancreas and the liver which will secrete the digestive juices